Hey GED students, I got a question on Facebook from Megan and she was working on solving this inequality and it looks like Megan had a lot of inequality skills but where she got stumped was she felt like the letter was on the wrong side here. She's like the variable, I just can't get it to the left and I know that you want it to the left for inequalities. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Megan did right and then how she can up her game and learn to get the letter to the left. So first of all, the first thing she did, which I really liked, was she noticed there was some simplifying that she could do on the right-hand side. So let's pick a little different color here so you can tell the difference between my problem and my work. But what she noticed was that this negative 5 here was shoved up against this parentheses, meaning that that negative 5 is multiplying with that grouping. And Megan knew how to do that multiplication, and so she did it. She said negative 5 times k is negative 5k. And negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Careful when you multiply. That's a really, really common student error. As you pass it out, you take the sign with it. So we are actually multiplying negative 5 times negative 3 for uh, positive 15. Now, there is no work to do on the left-hand side. That's just the number negative 90. So it's just going to drop down. I'm not going to do anything else with it. And I get this new inequality, negative 90 is greater than or equal to negative 5k plus 15. And now uh, Megan realized this is all the simplifying I can do. There's nothing left to do on the right hand side. There was never anything to do on the left hand side. It's time to start solving. It's time to start working to get the letter alone. And do remember when we're solving, we worked that lovely order of operations backwards. And so we're going to move, in, move anything that's adding or subtracting with our variable first. And I do see something adding and subtracting with my variable. Plus 15 is adding, you know, this 15 is adding with K. And so that's what I will work to get rid of first. To get rid of something, we do the opposite. So what I'm going to do is subtract that 15 away. Now, literally, you can do whatever you want uh, to an equation or an inequality in this case, as long as you do it to both sides. We need to do it to both the expressions, not just one. So that will keep our relationship here balanced. We want to keep the same relationship. And let's see, after making that change to both of the expressions here, what our new inequality will be. Well, negative 90 minus 15, you would have your calculator if you don't know how to do this um, when you go to do your GED, but you could go ahead and try it. it would give me negative 105. Okay, uh, I have done nothing to change my inequality sign. Okay, um, we change our inequality sign uh, when we either one, um, multiply or divide both sides by a negative. So we didn't multiply or divide, we subtracted. Um, or two, when we flip the sides. So we're gonna see that in a second. So, but we've done nothing to flip this inequality sign. So it's gonna stay the same. And then on this right-hand side, adding 15 and subtracting 15 are opposites. They'll cancel. So the only thing I'll have left here is negative 5K. Now I'm almost done. K is almost alone, but I have that negative 5 hanging out. Now, a lot of students here would make a wrong move. So common for students to tell me to add 5. But don't be that student. This is a serious error, a misunderstanding of opposites. Take a look at that negative 5. Look at what it's doing. Do you see how negative 5 is all shoved up against K with nothing between them? When two numbers are shoved together with nothing between them, they are multiplying. So the opposite of multiplying is not adding, guys, even if it's multiplying by a negative number. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. Make sure you divide away that number. And we're going to divide by exactly the number we want to get rid of. So we're going to divide by negative 5. Now, we can do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by negative 5 here. And now, notice, this is the first thing I mentioned to you. Remember I said that there were two times when we flip an inequality sign? The first time, we flip an inequality sign if we multiply or divide by a negative. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you are negating both sides of the equation, which actually changes the relationship. It absolutely gives you the opposite 
um, relationship than you used to have. So if the one side was bigger, it'll become smaller. And if the one side was smaller, it will become bigger. So we're going to flip if we multiply or divide by a negative. So watch what my new inequality will look like. Enough talking. Start the doing, Kate. So again, negative 105 divided by negative 5. You can feel free to do that in your calculator, but you would get positive 21. Okay. And then, of course, on the right-hand side, multiplying by negative 5, dividing by negative 5, they're opposites. They cancel, so I'll have K. But be really careful. Because I just divided both sides of my inequality by a negative, I made that change. I also changed the relationship. You need to flip your inequality sign. It's not going to be greater than or equal to anymore. It's going to be less than or equal to. So this is my new relationship. 21 is less than or equal to K. And technically this is solved. You know, K is alone, we're done. But a lot of students really struggle to just understand this statement when it starts with the number and it ends with the letter. And so we usually tell our students, well, get your letter to the left. Get your letter to the left. So I want K on this side and I want 21 on that side. Well, let's think about this. If 21 is less than or equal to K, that means that 21 is the smaller number. That's what this says. 21 is less than or equal to K. That means 21 is the smaller number. So now if I start with K, K is actually the larger number in this case. And so once again, my sign is gonna flip. This happens to be a problem where I see both of the ways that signs flip. So that other time that inequality symbols flip is if you switch the sides. Flip the inequality symbol if you switch the left and right hand sides because you're putting the smaller number where the bigger number used to be and the bigger number where the smaller number used to be. Okay, so two cases where inequality symbols flip and this problem was tricky because we saw them both. <laughs> Um, but uh, that, that won't always happen. We could have just one or the other. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure uh, to drop that question in the comments and I will do my best to answer it.